Hello Scorpio, it's Yvonne here to do your reading. Scorpio, if you are watching this more than likely you are a Scorpio sun. However, you could know that you have a Scorpio moon or Scorpio in your Venus or you could be cross watching because you're interested in Scorpio. Any of those is good. The thing is, there are so many other star signs that you could be watching to really get a nice rounded view of who you are. So what I suggest is just out of interest sake, go and Google yourself a natal chart or a birth chart. Put in the details of your birth. If you have your date of birth, if you have your time of birth, then you can probably get your hands on your rising or your ascendant. And you can have a printed report and you get it for free. And you can look at where all the planets were when you were born, which means that you can not only watch your Scorpio sun, but you can watch whatever planet was in your moon. You can watch whatever planet is in Venus if you're interested in a love reading. But you can have a look at many other aspects. And I used to say to people before I had a look at all this, but I used to say to people, it's so strange because sometimes I pick up on a reading and it's so general readings resonate with us too. They don't necessarily have to be specifically for us. And we can sort of sit there and go, this reading's for me. And that's why when a lot of people sort of put thumbs down or write, this is not, you know, this is not what's happening or whatever, I think, you know, use your intuition. Be really tuned into the readings. If it doesn't make you feel like it's your reading, then just click off and move in a new direction. The reason being, not all readings will be for you, even if they're all Scorpio readings. But you may find that another reading that sort of relates to where a planet was when you were born, maybe the reading you need to listen to. I always say to people, I have a Libra moon. Libra readings resonate with me far more than Capricorn suns do. Okay, just a couple of things. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, um, you can email me at theaussiegoddess at gmail.com. Um, all one word, no numbers, all spelt correctly. And I will send you back what I can offer. Um, if you are interested in a membership with me, there is a join button underneath the videos and a membership button as well. Either one will do you. If you take deluxe membership, you'll have access to all the videos I've done so far. Um, but whatever, if you just want to support me, then fabulous. I'm really grateful for that. Um, either way, you will get videos that are aimed at members. All right, we're going to use the Universal Celtic Tarot for your reading today. Let's get into it, Scorpio. Okay, so we're starting off with the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles did come out in another reading today. So when the Six of Pentacles comes out, it's about sharing the wealth evenly. For me, it often comes up in a relationship where there needs to be more of that. For example, you're in a relationship, you do everything and your partner may go to work, you may go to work too, but you are responsible for everything else in the home and your partner may not be that type of person. Or you're in a job where you feel like you do, you know, 10 times as much work as everybody else, but you're never really noticed for it or validated for it. And when the Six of Pentacles comes around, sometimes I feel it's the universe saying you need to make more effort so we can give you bigger rewards. But whatever it is, it's about, as I said, spirit, sort of sharing the wealth, it, wealth evenly. All right, so behind that we have the Eight of Wands. Now sometimes this can be considered the Arrows of Love card. But often with the Eight of Wands... For me, it's quick communication, communication coming from no, any, you know, just all of a sudden out of the blue. It can be that sudden email you get. I've never, I haven't heard from anybody for this amount of time and all of a sudden I get an email or I haven't applied for a job for a while, but something I applied for months ago tries to contact me. There's always like this energy of, quick fast communication and often reciprocal communication as well all right so i have the three of swords behind that with the nine of pentacles i'm just going to go one more and the wheel of fortune there is some sort of communication coming at you here i feel like it's coming out of the blue and to me with that six of pentacles it might be from somebody who now wants to 
put in to something that they weren't putting into before. So for example, if you have somebody that's maybe single or maybe just become single, somebody who possibly hurt you in the past, maybe somebody who even ghosted you here, there seems to be this sudden sort of communication coming out of nowhere. And I, you know, I spoke to somebody about this yesterday because I feel like if you have that bigger connection with somebody and they've disappeared, do they ever really let you go? You know, if you have that connection that's really strong with someone, do you ever really let them go? Because for me, the most incredible connections I've had with people over the years have stayed with me. The most important moments in you know, meeting someone and sort of having that really amazing connection doesn't go anywhere. I feel like here I want to say, if you aren't interested in somebody that you've met along the way, then that, this may not be your reading. But there is somebody here that may have hurt you. And I strongly feel that you may have told them how you felt about them, or you may have done the I love you and they didn't do one back or you had a huge crush on someone and they were committed to somebody else you may have fallen in love with somebody who was committed to someone else whatever happened here you were hurt you were hurt very very deeply with that three of swords and I feel like now either you're dealing with somebody who's found themselves in the position where they've never forgotten you and they now want to get in touch with you and you're going to get communication out of blue. It's not something you're expecting. It's a surprise and a shock, but somebody wants to invest in you now. So they may have fallen in love with you, even if you didn't get told, even if they never said anything. They may have had a crush on you and they may not have told you because they couldn't, they couldn't follow it through. But something here tells me that there is a significant person that you left behind who now wants to build something with you. All right, let's have a look where we're going. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups, Third Party Situation, Page of Pentacles. You know what? There's a Page of Cups as well. So you both know. See, the Ten of Cups is here. You both, you may have both told each other how you felt, but it wasn't taken any further because perhaps you were both committed to different people. And I feel like whoever this person is, it definitely feels to me, maybe it was you who was in another relationship. But there's a third party situation coming through very strongly with mutual communication. So maybe that eight of wands is showing that you had a lot of communication and you were perhaps very, very close, but something didn't go anywhere. But I see a situation where you were both extremely happy in each other's company. All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. You could have been dealing with um, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. And Six of Wands. There was a, somebody wants a victory with you now. Somebody's got their life in order. They could have um, done a lot of work on themselves and absolutely managed to move away from some sort of toxic relationship that perhaps they were in. I've got a strong feeling that this person's brought themselves back to where they felt they should be and now they're ready to communicate. The Six of Wands says they want a victory. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in a reading with the Knight of Wands and look what's at the head of the reading, the Ace of Cups. This person's coming in very slowly here, very slowly to offer that cup. I don't feel whoever this is that they've They've forgotten you. And because the cards show, you know, this sort of Nine of Pentacles energy, I'm feeling that perhaps one of you has become single or one of you is able to offer something now. But this feels to me like it might have been a long time ago. It could have been somebody that you were with, in, you know, in your younger years and now you've sort of found yourself on your own and this person's looked you up. It could be somebody that you couldn't, continue with because you were in different countries or in different, I want to say expanses, I don't know where that came from. You know, like you could have lived like in the next town, but it might have been several hours away. 
But I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here, there is so much joy and happiness in this connection. So I feel that whoever you were connected to here, you had like a really good connection. You may have had a really good friendship, but it couldn't go any further. You may have had a really good, you may have been in love with each other, but not ever expressed it, or you could have expressed it. I just feel like there was something between the two of you that, that just couldn't move forward. I'm just going to move a, put a couple more cards on, see if I can get a bit more clarification. Somebody wants to invest now. I feel like there's really fast communication coming through here. Fast communication. Somebody got hurt in this situation, badly hurt. But I feel like now there's an energy of sort of being on top of that. The hurt and pain is gone. Wheel of Fortune is here. That really tells me that somehow or another the timing is right now. But the timing could be right because one of you have recently become single. The timing could be right because somebody's ready to move. But it might just be that the timing is right because this person is ready to make a commitment. So the Ace of Cups is right at the head of the reading and it's coming via a Knight of Wands. So you have a little bit of fire in this reading. Um, but the, the most significant cards would be Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I do have a few other signs there. All right, let's have a look. Ace of Cups, just, just some clarification on the Ace of Cups. I've got the Strength card. Somebody's done a lot of work on themselves here with the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's worked really hard, and we do have the Lovers. Somebody has worked really hard to get to where they are. So whatever this is, this person has gone through a lot of healing, maybe sort of quite spiritual in practice now. So they sort of feel to me like they may have done a lot of work to really understand the connection. But you have the lover's card here, Gemini, and we have Leo coming through as well. So whoever this person is has done a lot of work to get to this place, and I feel like they're ready. And maybe they told you they weren't ready before, but they are now. Scorpio, this has been your reading. I will now pull you an oracle card. That one wants to come out, doesn't it? Soul Child. We've had this this card out just recently because I do remember reading it. Um, card 14. I just opened the book and it says trust in the plan. How cool is that? Rebirth is upon you, beautiful child of the universe. You have prepared for new life and it is starting right now. The divine moment of rebirth, which occurs after a period of struggle, of intense inner work and physical transformation, has arrived. Enjoy getting to know this new self. It is a new day, a new beginning, a new you. Like an adventure enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take your time to explore the increase of your light, power and love. You have undergone the death of the old order, so it's possible you could have done a lot of work on yourself. You have learned to detachment, to release, let go over and over again. In many ways, you've experienced inner death. That's Scorpio energy. Deep inside through the process, your soul has been gathering energy. It's been drawing it away from the old forms of your life and relationships, from your old beliefs about health, finances, work, and from what used to hold meaning for you. It is done so in order to feed the new soul child carried within your body. You are next, ready for the next cycle or phase of your life. The new life, the new self you are experiencing will grow strong and powerful soon enough. Ah, this card may also be a sign that a new business idea, professional or personal relationship or lifestyle choice is going to support the growth of your spirit in a positive and encouraging way. If this is the case, that new idea or connection will lead to the birth of creative new programs, ideas and structures in your life. Don't give up. Sometimes it's darkest just before the dawn. So whatever this is, whoever this is coming towards you, that's why I said I feel like they're really quite spiritual. 
So it might mean that they are seeing things very differently now, 1444 on the clock, to what they did before. You know, sometimes we can be in our own shadow and so suffocated by the things around us that we don't really see what life is about. I say they're the people who get up every morning, answer the alarm, have their breakfast, go to work, come home, and that is their life. But for many of us, we have found something more deep and meaningful by really sort of digging deep within ourselves. I will leave you with that. Have a great day. Thank you.